Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the new patch. I'm on my Magicka Warden with a brutal 1v8 build based on status effects with this juicy craftable set called Serpent's Disdain which increases the duration of status effects by 16 seconds. So your uptime on burning poison are basically 100% and also the chill status effect hits like crazy especially on a warden. It's really brutal. I never expected status effects to be that strong. Simply because they changed how they work in this patch. They basically doubled the amount of damage, not on every status effect. They basically doubled the amount of damage for instant damage status effects like standard, overcharged, chill, that kind of stuff. And they reworked some damage over time status effects like poison and hemorrhaging but overall to be honest burning and poison are still the strongest status effects and chill is extremely strong on warden 2 i think even better than poison in this on this build even if they reduce the duration of the poison status effect from six to four seconds which has the same duration as burning now with serpent's disdain you will have 20 seconds burning and poison status effect. Trust me guys your opponents will melt and they will hate this build. The dot pressure with all those status effects are insane. Especially if you use a set like Dragon's Appetite which increases everything by 217 flat. So even weak status effects let's say like overcharged, standard status effect, concussion that kind of stuff we get increased by flat 217. It's way better than just pushing your weapon or spell damage for status effects this set or dragon script are perfectly made. I've decided to use Dragon's Appetite simply because I have two bleed damage abilities with Growing Swarm and Wild Guardian. So we can keep up those Dragon's Appetite stacks pretty high. It's a nice extra burst here on top, but I mainly use it for the damage increase. If you prefer Dragon script, use it just on the front bar. Like this, you will only decrease your healing on the front bar, not on both bars. And I would use Serpent's Disdain on both bars. Combined with Deathless Feet, the best one we ask Mythic in my opinion. Give Stamina, HP and Magicka. Trendy as filler for X HP. And then Backbar, simply an Ice Staff of Potentates for 3% damage reduction. I try to fuse the Vatashun Ice Staff for even more damage, up to you. So no monsters at peace. If you want, you could deslot Trainee and Deathless Feet for, let's say, 2 Balog or 2 Bloodspawn. But I prefer this playstyle, way more effective for me. Why double Ice Staff, by the way? On the Warden, we have a juicy passive called Pursing Cold. Increase your damage done by 2% flat and which increases to 12% when wielding an eye staff. So 14% damage increase on everything. Every status effect, dot, diode damage, etc. So it's better than a lightning staff or an inferno staff. An inferno staff would only increase your damage over time abilities and status effects by 12% and lightning staves only your diode damage abilities. So in this case, double eye staff, way better. Armor types, one heavy chest and reinforce for next resistance, four light armor pieces and two medium, full prismaticus of course, with three imp pieces, one sturdy and two well fitted. You can also put more well fitted and sturdy up to you. Full infuse on the jewelry, we don't need any recovery, recovery is more than enough to be honest, even as a vamp stage 3, front bar charged to increase the chance to play status effects. Really effective on the setup, sharpened also works, but then your uptime on status effects will be obviously decreased. Poison damage enchant, really important here. We don't have any poison ability on a Magdon, so use a poison damage enchant to proc the poison status effect. Back bar defending for extra armor, and I'm using the stamina absorb glyph to proc the standard status effect, but you can use any poisons here like uh, double dot poisons, escapist poisons, or simply the berserk hook defense weapon damage. Quick look on the skills front bar growing swarm. Really important, we need a bleed damage effect, otherwise Dragon's Appetite will not work. With Wild Guardian and Growing Swarm we have two abilities. Also applies Minor Wool, 5% extra damage, and even deeds AoE if someone is nearby. Deep Fissure for Minor and Major Breach, 9k penetration and deeds a huge amount of damage. Crushing Shock, save this spammable to push the uptime of Burning, Concussion and Chilled. Bird of Prey. A snare removal also gives Mage Expedition for 6 seconds and even minor Berserk just slotted. Really strong on the Warden, we don't need Race Against Time. Element Susceptibility, we don't need it for Major Breach, we only need it for the 3 status effects. It will always apply Burning, Chill and Concussion. Especially Chill is really important on a Warden, simply because of Glacial Presence. 
increase the damage of your chilled status effect by 600 flat. This is unbuffed by the way. So every time chilled procs, it's basically like another proc set on top. Then wild garden on both bars. Make sure to use this morph for the extra bleeding damage and for the increased hemorrhaging status effect proc chance. Back by Lotus Blossom needed for the crit buff. Also heals. Blue Betty for the major sorcery buff. 20% weapon and spell damage. Also free purge and even gives a ton of magical recovery. Bigger selfie and for minor resolve 3 karma. Ice Fortress, Resistance Buff, also gives minor protection by the way, 5% damage reduction on top, Arctic Blast, our CC, Burst Heal, and even needs a good amount of AoE damage, and on top even has a big chance to proc the Chilled status effect. The 2 second stun delay is kinda annoying to be honest, but after a while you get used to it, I liked it before when it was an instant AoE stun. Ray stun more. Weapon and spell damage, max magic and stamina and the flame resistance. Like I said before, I am a vampire thanks to tankiness, simply because of this undeath passive here. Smoke Bench as buff food, Atonark for the extra magicka recovery, attribute points, 20 points in health and 44 points in magicka. Like this I'm at 128k, completely unbuffed, with minor toughness around 31k and with death ears feet around 34-35k HP, so more than enough on a warden. Potions, basic tricep potions. NCPs, some changes here, Rawful Strikes instead of Biting Aura, Rawful Strikes, you know it, will increase every single ability, Biting Aura would only empower Deep Fission Arctic Blast, so it's not worth, Daddy Aim, also better than Master at Arms and Biting Aura, will empower every single single target attacks, so also status effects, Duelist Rebuff and Ironclad as damage mitigation, and Red CP is pretty basic, with Sustain by Suffering, Pain Suffuge, Slippery and Celebrity. Rotation. First of all, make sure to always have your bear up. You need to recast if it dies. Takes a while. Then start to pre buff yourself with Blue Betty, Lotus, Ice Fortress, Arctic Blast, and Vigor. Apply Elisas, Swarm, Deep Fissure, Bar Swap, Arctic Blast, Bear into Crushing Shock. It's really important to use Arctic Blast around 2 to 3 seconds before Deep Fissure hits. Like this you can stun the enemy shortly before Deep Fissure hits. Plus you can use another ability like Crushing Shock or the Bear Ultimate. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day. If you have questions, type them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.